Hello and welcome back to the fourth video in the series for Topic 3 Networks and now we're going to be identifying the technologies required to provide a VPN and this is for the IB Diploma in Computer Science. Okay, you can see here we're still on the core units, this is Topic 3 Networks and we're on to video 4, the penultimate video in under Network Fundamentals. Okay, we've still got data transmission and wireless networking to go. So the objectives for this, we're going to be identifying the key technologies required to establish a virtual private network, a VPN. We're going to understand the hardware and software components necessary for VPNs. We're going to differentiate between secure, trusted and hybrid VPNs. And we're going to recognize the common types of VPN and their use cases. Okay, so first of all, what is a VPN? Well, a virtual private network creates a tunneled connection over the internet or other public networks, allowing private communication between remote sites or users with their private networks. Okay, the purpose basically, the VPN enables secure data exchange, allowing users to access files, databases, and resources from remote locations as if they were directly connected to the private network. It's basically fooling the internet into thinking that you're in a different place than what you actually are. For example, We've got your device, okay, it could be a mobile phone, it could be a computer. At the moment, it's got an identifiable IP address and identifiable data. It's not encrypted, but we pass that through a VPN, okay? The data becomes encrypted and we hide the IP address and that's what the internet sees, okay? It might see you in a different location and it sees any data that you're passing through is going to be encrypted, okay? But it's two-way. Anything we get back from the internet, again, is encrypted and you still the IP address is hidden as it comes back to your device. So, for example, imagine you are sitting in a coffee shop and you want to check your online bank account. See whether you can afford a coffee, because if you're in Costa, of course, coffee is very, very, very expensive. And Starbucks. If you connect directly to the coffee shop's public Wi-Fi, your personal information could be at risk because hackers could potentially see what you are doing. But with a VPN, your data is scrambled yeah, and sent through a secure tunnel to a VPN server. The server gets the information you need, scrambles it back again, and sends it back to you. This keeps your online activities private and safe, even on a public Wi-Fi system. So we've got two types of secure VPN technologies. These are IPsec, and this ensures that all data exchanged over the VPN is encrypted and authenticated before being sent through virtual tunnels. IPsec, the Internet Protocol Security. This encrypts data for secure transmission over public networks. It uses Advanced Encryption Standards, or AES, for confidentiality. It provides authentication using digital certificates. Okay, and one you may have heard of, SSL and TLS, Basically, the little padlocks or the little um, HTTPS on top of your browser when you're typing in a, in, a, in a web URL. Okay, you've got secure socket layers and you've got transport layer security. These are easy to implement as most web servers and browsers support it. It ensures secure communication without needing special client software. Whereas hybrid VPN technologies, these combine secure and trusted VPN technologies or different VPN types to enhance security and flexibility. Some examples might be combining an IPsec with an MPLS, which is basically trusted security, for a robust VPN solution. So, common VPN types. We've got site-to-site -site VPN. This connects the entire network, allowing secure data exchange between the different sites. Whether we're working at the company's headquarters or branch subsidiaries, especially if it's a bank, it uses VPN gateways to establish connections. This is site-to-site -site VPN. Whereas remote access VPN, this connects individual devices to private networks ideal for remote workers. Okay, we could have workers sort of living, staying in the hotel with the VPN. We can sort of talk back to our headquarters as if we are actually in headquarters. Requires VPN client software on each host device. So if you work on any mobile phone or your laptop in the hotel, then you need the software installed on there. Something like NordVPN or TunnelBear, or there's lots and lots of them out there. These need to be installed on your device so the device can connect securely via the internet. So let's have a little look. We've got the different types. We've got secure VPN, trusted VPN, hybrid VPN, site-to-site -site VPN, and remote access VPN. 
secure VPN, encrypts and authenticates data before transmission. The trusted relies on providers network for security. The hybrid combines secure and trusted VPNs. Site to site connects the entire network for secure data interchange. And the remote access connects individual devices to private networks. Okay, so examples might be IPsec, SSL and TLS for secure. We've got MPLS with BGP, lots of acronyms here, frame relay, and then merging these two things together, we get a hybrid VPN. We've got VPN gateways and we've got VPN client software. Something like Nord or TunnelBear would allow this. In conclusion, VPNs create secure private connections over public networks. Different technologies, including IPsec, SLS, TLS, and MPLS, are used to secure and manage VPNs. VPNs can be classified as secure, trusted, or hybrid, with specific use cases for each type. Okay, as always, I've got three questions for you. Define, question one, what is a virtual private network, a VPN? Two marks. Don't just give me what a VPN stands for because I've written it here. Question two, a describing question. Describe how a VPN protects your data when using a public Wi-Fi network. And I gave you the example of the, um, of the coffee shop. Question three, explain for six marks the difference between a secure VPN and a trusted VPN. Okay, if you don't want to see the answers just yet, pause the video, have a little go, but I'm going to show you the answers right now. Question one, a virtual private network is a technology that creates a secure encrypted connection over a less secure network, such as the internet. It allows users to send and receive data as if their devices were directly connected to a private network, ensuring privacy and security. Question two, a VPN protects your data on a public Wi-Fi network by encrypting it before it leaves your device. This encrypted data is sent through a secure tunnel to a VPN server, where it is decrypted and then sent to its destination. Even if a hacker tries to intercept your data on a public Wi-Fi, they would only see encrypted, unreadable information, keeping your online activities private and secure. Okay, and then finally, a secure VPN encrypts all traffic using protocols like IPsec or SSL or TLS, ensuring that data remains private and secure as it travels over the internet. A trusted VPN, on the other hand, relies on the security of a provider's network rather than encryption. Trusted VPNs often use technologies like MPLS to secure transport data across a provider's network, but they may not encrypt the data itself. Secure VPNs prioritize data encryption for privacy, while trusted VPNs rely on inherent security of the network provider. Okay, so that's it. That's the three questions answered. That is it for this video. Thank you very much indeed. I will see you next time for video five. In the meantime, bye for now. Thank you very much indeed. Please continue to ask questions, leave your comments, hit notifications, and please subscribe. And finally, if you wish to buy me a coffee, I would be truly grateful. Please visit buymeacoffee.com forward slash learning zone. Thank you very much indeed. See you next time. Bye for now.